Now, honorable senators, we shall proceed to the last charge. Now, to the members of public, depending on which side you are, and depending on how the voting will be done on this last charge, you must be silent. To the parties, it matters not the outcome of the vote on the last charge. You must be seated in silence. To the members who are seated in the speaker's gallery, it matters not the outcome of the vote on the last charge. You must sit in silence. Charge number seven, contempt of the assembly. Senators, you may now proceed to vote. Senator Siango, take your seat. <coughs> Honorable Senators, the results of the division are as follows. Charge number one, misappropriation and misuse of county resources. Eyes 19, nays 28. The nays have it. Charge number two, nepotism and related unethical practices. Eyes five, Nays, 42, abstain, zero, the nays have it. Charge number three, bullying, vilification, and demeaning other leaders. Eyes, three, nays, 
44, abstain, 0, the nays have it. <laughs> Charge number 4, illegal appointments and usurpation of statutory powers. The ayes, 20 votes, nays, 27 votes, abstain, 0 vote, the nays have it. Charge number five, contempt of court. The ayes, three votes. The nays, 44 votes. Abstain, zero. So the nays have it. Charge number six, illegally naming a public road after her husband. Ayes, four votes. The nays, 43 votes. Abstain, zero, so the nays have it. Charge number seven, contempt of the assembly. Ayes, 10 votes. Nays, 37 votes. Abstain, zero, so the nays have it. Now, honorable senators, section 33.7 of the County Governments Act provide as follows. If a majority of all members of the Senate vote to uphold any impeachment charge, the governor shall cease to hold office. Honorable Senators, the result of the division indicate that the Senate has not upheld any of the impeachment charges. Pursuant to Article 181 of the Constitution, Section 33.8 of the County Governments Act, and Standing Order 87 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate has failed to remove from office by impeachment Honorable Kawira Mwangaza, the Governor of Meru County. And the Governor accordingly continues to hold office. You may now draw the bars and open the doors. Now, to the parties, you shall stay seated as the senators exit the chamber. Likewise, the people who are in the public gallery, you will stay seated as the senators leave the chamber. And for those who are seated in the public gallery, you shall stay seated as the senators leave the chamber. Honorable Senators, you may now rise. <laughs> Senator Sotsi. Order, Honorable Senators. Order. Honorable Senators, there being no other business on the order paper, the Senate stands adjourned at till Tuesday 14th of November 2023 at 2.30 p.m. I thank you. That communication was communicated here by Senator Muma. For those who attend sessions, they know. Well, that is the end of uh, the two-day trial of uh, the proposed removal from office of uh, Governor Kawira by impeachment, a resolution that was reached by the county assembly, but the governor has survived the impeachment. Uh, the speaker has uh, just given the results of the division with the seven charges and the 47 senators uh, participated in the vote. None of uh, them chose to abstain. And in all those seven charges, with all the 47 senators uh, participating in the charge, none of uh, the charges was substantiated. All of them turned out unsubstantiated, thereby saving the governor. And the governor, of course, will continue to uh, uh, do her duties as uh, uh, demanded uh, by the position she holds. But we understand, uh, of course, uh, with uh, the 
uh, standing order 80. The speaker uh, will be communicating uh, standing order 87 indicates that if a vote in the Senate fails to result in the removal of the governor, the speaker of the Senate shall notify the speaker of the concerned county according and the motion by this assembly for the removal of the governor on the same charges may only be reintroduced to the Senate after the expiry of three months. Well, that has been the end of this live broadcast of the two-day trial and the result is as you have seen the governor has uh, survived that particular impeachment on behalf of the directors uh, for the P PBU and KBC, Doris Gitonga, Bernard Timbe and Mudoni, the sound, Evelyn Chialo, Ruben Musimi, camera persons, Jim Modiambo, David Gashagwa, Alan Kigali. My name is Kamche Menza. We've been glad that you've joined us throughout uh, this uh, proceeding and I will now hand you over back to our studios at KEBC. Uh, that's it from here. Bye. Good night.